This one came from home. This one is from home. If you know what I mean. It's from home. Today we are going to make um, some cupcakes. So my, my ingredients for the day are going to be some brown sugar, uh, warm milk. I am, for now I'm using, I'm using this uh, full cream fair cake. Fair cake. Uh, $17 in almost any shop, nice milk. Uh, and then I'll be using the classic 40% uh, fat spread uh, butter or margarine, I don't know which one it is. And uh, a little bit of eggs. Um, I have myself some cooking oil as well here that I'll be adding to the mix. And the main ingredient is this backcross of rice and flour right here. Uh, for flavoring and coloring, I'll be using uh, the essence caramel flavor. Uh, main ingredient or main flavor or taste is going to be the vanilla. Uh, and I also have a little bit of egg yolk just to give a little bit of color because I don't want my muffins to be all white. So, and not forgetting a little bit of salt, salt you need to bring your blood pressure up. So what we are going to do firstly, we are going to create some wet uh, ingredients or a wet mix. So to do that, let me move everything around. My space is limited, but yes, we will make do with what we have. So for starters, uh, in my mixing bowl right here, I am going to I'm going to crack two large eggs. I'm actually putting the whole thing, not uh, separating any egg yolk from the egg whites. I just need two. Actually, I'm going to make three because I think I'll be making a lot. So I have my. Let me get that. The third egg. My three eggs. Okay. I'm going to add, I think, one and a half. One. Oh, okay. Two. Two. Uh, okay, broken. I'll fix that later. And then. I'll give it another mix. You can see the, the egg yolk is changing the colors of the eggs. Okay, to this mix, I'll add a little bit of salt. In Africa, we don't use measurements. This is enough, enough high blood pressure right here. <laughs> Measure with your eyes how much blood pressure you want. Okay. And then I'll give that a mix. And then I am going to pour in um, 450 ml of milk. Actually, I'm going to start off, uh, I think I'll pour 200 and then I'll finish up later on this. Because I want, I want it to be uh, soft. The milk is actually hot. Okay, uh, for 450, I poured 200, so I have 250 more to go. And then I'll give it a swirl or a mix. I do not have a mix. Uh, a, 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 how do you call it? That mixing stick. I don't know the name, but that's I'll call it mixing stick. Okay, and then I'll add two spoons of cooking oil to that mix, make it two and a half. Since the milk is uh, still warm, this is the best time to add the butter because you want the butter to melt in. Because if you add, if you use cold milk, then the butter will have a lot of chunks and stuff. 
So I'm going to scoop. Uh, I, I, the, the butter is at room temperature, so you can see it's soft and easy to use. So two and a half spoons of butter right there into the mix. And then I'll mix that in. It melts nicely since the milk is warm. Okay. So I have myself uh, this uh, immense, Im immense blender that I got from Clicks. I don't know when I got it. So I actually would have preferred to have. Um, the other whisking type of blade or extension because it's it comes up comes up but unfortunately in this case this is all I have so with, uh, with just a little bit of power not too much force I'll just give this mixture just a little bit of that just to break away all those Butter and just to make, uh, get the whole, just to get the whole uh, wet, nicely even and for me, If you want to make your cupcakes fluffy, you need to give it a good mix. You can see how foamy that is. You can just imagine how, how soft the cake will be. Okay, keep your place clean. I'll remove this for now and put it aside. Okay, so far this is where we stand. Nice wet mix of eggs, milk, butter, salt, sugar, and some extras. Okay, uh, I have, okay, this is a one kg self-rising flour, and I have a half, 250 grams of flour right here that was left off from the previous bake. So I'll start off using this, I don't want to waste, because I don't want to open that one, and. But I have one that's already opened, so I'll pour this in. I shall pour all of it in. And then using my spoon, I'll just give it a little bit of a mix. Let's see. Hmm. Look at how yellow they look like. Oh, these are going to be nice. Okay. Okay, let's see how creamy and rich. It looks like okay. Uh, what I'm going to do now, since the spoon is obviously small and it will not give me that proper mix that I need, I will go and collect my wooden spoon right here. Yes, I used it earlier, so yeah. This is an African wooden spoon, not the ones you buy in the shop. These ones are, this one came from home. This one is from home, if you know what I mean. It's from home. It crossed uh, many regions to get here. So, since the idea is to make my mix uh, a little bit wet and soggy, so the, the, the cakes uh, look amazing, I'll add the remainder of the milk. That's another 250, it was uh, initially 450. I put in 200 and then uh, the last 250 just went in now. And then I'll give that 
a nice mix. Let me just uh, move this here so you can see what's happening within that mixture. Ooh, not too. Okay. I do have some like a small uh, lumps, but don't worry. The wooden spoon will get those out. If they don't go away, I'll probably use the immense blender just to. But I think they are fine. I'll just give it a nice whisk or nice mix. Get all those nice ingredient, nice uh, lumps and you know just mix everything together yes I like the, the I like how yellow I know it's very soft right about now so to this mix I'll add more of that uh, flour so the initial amount was 250 uh, just using my eyes I'll add uh, a hundred I'm assuming that's a hundred right there give it a nice twirl nice mix get that uh, thickness going because I want it to be just slightly thick but not too thick and slightly loose but not too loose so I just want it to be perfect This is where the experience of uh, cooking pup comes in. Eh? If you haven't cooked pup before, eh, she would not understand. There's a formula. There's a formula here. There's a formula going on. Mm, you can just see how creamy this looks like. If only you guys could get the smell. Oh. It's not easy to get that mix in there. Mm. Okay. At this level, I want to throw in a little bit of that uh, caramel. Just, 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 just. Eh? Just to add a little bit of something. Just to confuse the, the, the I'll just throw in one 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 lead full. The idea is to confuse whoever is going to eat what flavor is in there. Because you, you, you <laughs> this is a bad this is a deadly combination right here. Okay now let me let, let me just show you how to get a proper mix if uh, if you do not have a mixing if you're not if you're using manual mixing let me show you how to do it this is how you you hold the stick just this way and then give it that that deadly mix right there like I said this is for people that know how to do the the pup to get that mixing going on with this technique you don't need any any blender or any uh, automated stuff you can you are as good as a blender right here Let me just move you in so you can see what's happening inside the bowl. Just look at that mix. This is a washing machine type of mix right here. A little bit to the, 
to the left, a little bit to the right, and you know, just look at how creamy this looks. I'm telling you, you honestly do not need any blender once you've mastered the technique of mixing. Just bend it a little bit this way. Just so I get everything in there properly mixed. Okay. Now, I think I like the consistency. It's soft. It will make a good uh, it will give a good rise and it will definitely uh, it will definitely work in terms of uh, the mixture the mixture is on point so this is how you mix flour for uh, cupcakes so in the next Okay, for now, afterwards, let me just get the pan right, get the oven sorted out, put them in, and then I'll show you guys how they look like. So now jumping to the second part, once the mix is done and ready, uh, all you need to do is oil your pan, it's a little bit warm. So I'm just going to oil it with uh, butter. For measurements, I do not have the right scoop, but I have this little scoop here. I was looking for, for it, uh, hence I was <laughs> using my own measurements earlier. But uh, I got this from Pep, you can always get this from Pep in any uh, shop. So I'm going to use this as, as the scoop. Uh, Okay, so I'll try to, let's see, firstly I'll start off with one scoop in Okay, that is my first bunch right there. So I'm going to throw it in the oven. So guys, uh, my first batch is out. Uh, this is how it looks like. Now let me see. Soft. Warm. And spongy or fluffy, I would say. So, yes. This is how you make yourself some some Sunday cupcakes right here. So if you're interested in the formula or in the recipe, I will link it down in the description of the video. You can check it down there. I'll write everything I used. Um, if you enjoyed the video, kindly share. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, Let's see what we're going to do next time around. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.